Welcome to Raising Rock Climbers Uncensored. This is your reality check and home for uncensored, trusted advice. Today, we're going to be talking about the importance of buying a uniform and how much uniforms are in reality. I'm Marina, your host, mother of two aspiring rock climbers and wife to an extreme athlete. So you have finally found your team, your coach, you've paid for the federations, you've paid for the memberships, all that good stuff. And it comes down to now, do you need a uniform? So here's the thing, guys. How committed are you? Because it will be really weird, not only how committed are you to the team, because it's just weird when your kid is the only one that gets out there during a competition and even during training, and they're the only ones that doesn't have an actual uniform. First of all, it makes them feel a little bit weird. It's also sending out the wrong signals that we're not really committed. We just spent all this other money, but not really committed enough to buy a uniform. You've got to get the uniform. It's it's part of that teamness, right? All of a sudden, the team is also not looking at your kid as an outsider. It's part of being part of the group, and you need to buy it. Sometimes you might get a complimentary shirt once in a while, but 99.9% of the time, you have to buy the uniform. And there's quite a lot of elements in the uniform. They have T-shirts. They have tank tops. They have long sleeves, they have jackets, they have shorts, they have pants, they have bags. You know what? Now that we are officially on our team and are fully committed to being part of the team and being part of the competition circuit, the whole thing, we just bought the whole thing, right? It came out to be almost like $150 per child. And for our 12-year-old, we did buy a little bit bigger, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> then, you know, then his size right now. But the point is, you know, hopefully you won't outgrow it within six months. And for our 19 year old, we did, you know, hopefully he's already full grown and can wear his uniform for the next year or so, but they're necessary. Right. And the coach really pushes it that for you to arrive in your team in a uniform, it's kind of like, think about karate or Kung Fu or Tai Chi. When you join a dojo, when you join a gym, you have to get the uniform. Otherwise, you look really out of place. And it's the same thing for when you are on a team. If you're just coming and training without the team or on your own, that's a whole other story. But when you are training with your team or even doing an outing with your team and certainly at the competition, you need that. You need the uniform. So please don't start cutting corners on those things. There are other things that we will be talking about on how to cut corners and save some money. This is not one of them. Take my advice. Okay, let me know what your guys' thoughts are, especially on the uniforms and all that other good stuff. And if you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a review, share it with your friends. And the more we could talk about what is necessary, the better it will be for us and for our kids.